Welcome back to Tux Explorer. I'm a tiny potato, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set custom artwork on non-Steam games in your library. I've got a few things floating around my library, like Discord, Solitaire, <laughs> and the Moguri Mod Launcher, as well as versions of Proton that show up in here. As you can see, I already have an icon set, but for some reason that doesn't show up in the portrait mode. So we're going to right click on the game we want and select set custom artwork. Then we can navigate to wherever our file is and make sure that you're viewing all file types because it defaults to PNG, I think. And there we have a not very attractive piece of artwork. I should probably work on that. For a Moguri mod, I'm just going to steal something off of Google that hopefully will fit a little bit better. I am not going to make a set of icons for this. Stop telling yourself that. Okay, so set custom artwork. We're going to navigate to the downloads folder. And again, change that to all files. And there we have Final Fantasy IX artwork. And now I'm going to change Discord. This was the hardest one to try to find some sort of vertical portrait mode picture, so I just took one that I thought was interesting from Google. So first I'm going to change the shortcut icon, which is just going into properties and then navigating to where I saved this lovely little discord icon in a kind of glowy neon look. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. And then I'm going to change the background, so set custom background, same thing, select that same file. I, yep, <laughs> it's so creepy. I could have picked something higher quality for that. Oh well, it's fine. Um, and now the most important, I am going to manage, set custom artwork, and again, select that same file because nothing matches and nothing matters. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to launch back into handheld mode just to show you that these changes do stay between the two. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to navigate over to my non-Steam games so that they're all in one area. There we have it, our three new pieces of custom artwork. I hope this quick tutorial is helpful in making your Steam library look a little more cohesive. Please give this video a like if you found it useful and subscribe for more Steam Deck content.